Authorities are looking for a pair of carjacking suspects. The Waukesha, Waukesha County Sheriff's Department says three people were carjacked at gunpoint overnight Friday. Two cars were stolen in Milwaukee. A third was taken in Pewaukee. The suspects took off in separate vehicles. Uh, the deputies that were on patrol were initially responding to the Holiday Inn to handle the, the initial call. Um, and once they were told that the suspect, suspect vehicles fled eastbound, uh, they did a, a great job in setting up and anticipating where they were going to be. Uh, and within a minute or two, the suspect vehicle passed their location and they, they gave chase. Officials said the suspect lost control of the car, crashed into a barrier. He then got out and ran. Three sisters are speaking out about their time in the wilderness. The sisters who go to a church in Whitefish Bay were lost in Wyoming. Rescuers located them on Thursday morning. They are experienced hikers who had all the right supplies. Whistles, we had a solar stove. blanket, we had a stove, we had plenty of extra fuel. We had packed a little bit of extra fuel. We had a water f filter. We chose a spot that had a river close by so that we could go down and get water. They were prepared. A couple of cowboys, those two guys right there, found the women and relayed the coordinates to search teams. The woman's father said the most important thing was they stayed put. A large cable snapped just inches from two riders at the Wisconsin Dales. A boy and another woman were about to be catapulted high into the air on the slingshot ride Wednesday. Nobody was hurt. That ride had to be shut down for inspection. The NBA is making Elk Mound High School replace its basketball court. That is that they just put down. The league said the two similar uh, to the one of the Bucks that the Bucks used. The Bucks knew it wasn't intentional, so the team will pay the $4,000 to replace the four. Time now to get a check on our forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist John Milan. And we warmed up today across southeastern Wisconsin, but nothing like the warm up they had on this date, July 10th, 1913, Death Valley, California, 134 degrees. That's the world's warmest temperature on record for the whole world, not only the United States. Now, let's take a look at our own heat waves this summer. Uh, we had one, if you want to call this a heat wave, but these are the four warmest days in a row we've had, June 7th through the 10th, 82 through 87 degrees. The reason we haven't had big heat waves is all the heat is out to the west. Look at Spokane, Washington, which is a very mild uh, climate. Look at their four days, July 1st through the 4th in the upper to mid 90s. Look at Portland, Oregon, again, first through the fourth, they had temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. And if you go all the way out to Medford, Oregon, 108, 107, 102, and 103 degrees. Again, that was also during the July 1st through the July 4th period. All the heat's out west, folks. That's why we're having a hard time warming up here. Our high today, 78 degrees in Milwaukee, 82 in Madison, 83 in Wausau with 83 in La Crosse. If you like the look of that map, you're going to like the look of the weekend maps because it is going to be very similar. Temperatures in the evening hours are going to stay basically in the low to mid 70s across southeastern Wisconsin. Wind speeds are going to be light, but mainly from the south southeast. So that means the warming trend will continue and overnight low temperatures from about 58 in Watertown to 61 in Milwaukee. Humidity goes up this weekend also into the 60s for dew points, and that means it's going to be a little more sticky, especially into Sunday. Nothing going on around southeastern Wisconsin on the satellite picture. All the storms developing out to the south and west. The computer models show those storms right along a warm front. They continue to push in our direction tomorrow. We should see some showers and storms basically in the southwest corner of the state. They can drift in here tomorrow night and into Sunday. A chance of scattered showers and storms as the warm front stays to our south. Look at the map. Across the state tomorrow, you can see the 70s and 80s just about everywhere up in the north woods. Again, temperatures beautiful in the 70s and 80s, and that will continue into Sunday around the rest of the state. 88 in La Crosse. It's going to be a hot one out west. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Beautiful night, 61 degrees. Tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine off and on. Temperatures right around 78, 82 inland. Tomorrow night, our best chance to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And on Sunday, partly cloudy. Warm and humid, 78 degrees with a scattered shower or storm. Your seven day forecast includes more showers and storms on Monday, 81 degrees, a little less humid. On Tuesday, temperatures right around 80 once again. Then on Wednesday and Thursday, we drop into the mid to upper 70s. Next chance for rain comes in on Friday.